So now we are going to talk about the another natural resource that is forest and wildlife. So what is the link to the forest to us? Forest is a very important natural resource. There are so many products from the forest which we use in our daily life. Mainly wood that is used to make paper or furniture that comes from the forest. So forest is an important natural resource. The disturbance to this natural resource or over exploitation of this natural resource, it leads to so many problems. Many of you may think that, of course, I'm not connected to the forest produce. I'm not concerned to this forest because, of course, some of us may get some alternatives. Everybody of us use forest produce. Sometimes you may take some alternative. You may say that I'm not using any wooden furniture, sir. I'm using plastic. So I'm not dependent on forest produce. I'm not using any herbal products. I use all synthetic products. So I'm not concerned. But some people that they have connection with the forest. So here when we are discussing the issue about the forest and wildlife, we have to discuss about the stakeholders. Means the people that are connected to the forest. Here we have four groups of people. See, who are they? The first one is tribals tribals or people who live in forest who live close to the forest who are living in the surroundings of forest who make use of the forest product at the same time they contribute for the the existence of the forest for the protection of the forest those are the tribals so they take very important role in conservation of the forest. Of course, they use the forest product, but they do not cause any damage to the forest. So the one thing is tribals. The second one is industrialist. So the industrialists are looking for the forest product. They wanted the wood. They want the take from the forest. They want the pine from the forest. So they cut off the forest. So in the auction, they buy the land with the trees, they cut all the trees. So once some area is cleared, they go to the other area. They are not bothered what happens to the forest land, which is deforestated. So that is not their issue. So the second people, those who are connected to the forest are industrialist. Some people, they wanted some forest land for some industrial purpose, for establishment, or dealing with the sale and purchase of the forest product. Those are the industrialist. The third one is forest department. So this forest department, it has the role of protecting the forest, forest land and forest product. And if we see the other group, nature enthusiasts, nature enthusiasts. So if you see this, these three groups, they have some benefit. Forest department people, while working for the forest, they get some payment as a salary. They are benefited. Tribals, as they are living in the forest, of course, they help the forest. At the same time, they get benefit from the forest. So their livelihood, everything is from the forest products. So tribals, they have benefit. And industrialists, they get very rich profits. They buy all the forest product or wood at very less price, cheaper price. They sell it at a very high price and so they are very much benefited. So here, the last group, nature enthusiasts, they are not benefited by any way. Only thing is they have the curiosity, they have the interest of protecting the forest. So that is the reason these people are also concerned and connected to this issue, the forest and wildlife. So what is that necessity of conserving the forest and wildlife? So forest, it consists of so many plants. Forest is not a collection of plant and animals. It includes so many organisms and all these organisms living together, interactions depending on each other. So it creates a diversity, various species living together. So this diversity, it is a symbol of ecological stability. If this diversity is lost, a particular area of forest is cleared, then what happens? Various animals living in that area, they get dispersed and they become extinct and you may not be able to find those animals again. 
so we lose biodiversity so the loss of diversity it leads to ecological loss of ecological stability ecological stability is lost so the ecological stability is lost it brings so many disturbances in the food chains food webs certain organisms grow in large number certain organisms totally disappear so it leads to disturbance in the food chains it causes so many problems so first we are going to talk about the first local people first group the local people in the sense mostly the tribals the people those who are living in the forest or close to the forest so in this case we can find that judicious use of forest resources these people do not cut the trees indiscriminately they do not want large amounts of wood for construction of houses they make small huts that are made with thatch that is bamboo they make very small tools for fishing with wood and bamboo fishing and they gather the fruits fruits and nuts and they collect the firewood firewood so firewood they do not cut any trees for firewood they collect all the sticks the dried sticks of the dried branches they collect so these kind of things are collected fruits and nuts are collected and they make simple huts with bamboo and even though they ca carry out certain kind of agriculture that is called as jhum cultivation they shift the agricultural land from one place to another place they do not cut so many trees and even they again they plant the trees and they see that the diversity of the plants is restored is retained that means they do not grow only one kind of trees for commercial benefits so they do not disturb the diversity there that is the main thing and uh, firewood fishing they collect honey that is the product of the forest fruits and nuts and they collect the bamboo so in this way they collect various products from the forest this is not over exploitation at the same time they contribute for the proper growth of the trees or other plants other kind of plants and they know the value of each and every plant what are its medicinal uses and other purposes they have a good knowledge of the diversity or they have good knowledge about the various products of the forest so even though these local people are living in contact with this forest the forests were not disturbed the forest land was not disturbed the resource was not misused because they were using a judicious use of the forest resources so they are not expecting more just they are expecting or taking the things which are just enough for their living they don't want to make millions and millions of dollars and they don't want to keep any bank accounts and they don't want to uh, they don't have a commercial view of the forest forest but later what happened the britishers entered into the scenario 